how does an attacker in the middle attack work at the high level? What's the 101 here? Essentially, we have a malicious page accessed by a victim, sort of standard, you know, phishing link they've clicked on. The traffic is routed via the attacker's proxy server, and they're proxying requests through to the legitimate page that they're impersonating. So let's say that's Microsoft Entra, for example. At this point, the victim enters their credentials. They'll then be prompted for any MFA, which they'll approve. And at that point, the credentials, including like the username and password, whatever the MFA token was at the time, and uh, most importantly, the session cookies are intercepted by the attacker at that point. The requests are passed on to the genuine login pages, and the victim logs in and sees their, their normal um, account as they'd expect to see it. It's just being proxied via the attacker. But at this point, the attacker has the session cookies, and therefore they can perform a session hijack and attack and take over the user's account. So I'm just going to show you a real brief example using Evil Jinx, just what this looks like from an attacker's point of view and from a victim's point of view, and then we'll move on. So at a very basic level, I've got a victim on the left here. I'm using an Evil Jinx instance. On the right, I'm controlling that. So this is like the, on the right is the attacker's view. Um, I've visited the URL uh, and I'm now entering my credentials. I'm seeing a Microsoft login page. It's, I'm interacting with it normally. I'm entering my password and I now log in to my account. Um, and I will now be prompted for MFA. In this case, I've got Microsoft Authenticator set up with a one-time password. I've gone to my phone to fetch that, and I've entered that, and now I've accessed uh, my account correctly. So you'll see now I log into Microsoft 365, and that's my legit account. Well, on the right, we've cap captured the password, and we've also captured the sessions, which is the important bit. So I could now go and display this session, and I would be able to import that into my own browser as an attacker to hijack that if I'd like to. So that's basically what it looks like at a very basic level from both the victim's perspective and the attacker's perspective.